What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 550, Gameplay Analysis 4. Mark this medium, let's get into it. So just like in the other Gameplay Analysis problems, we have a table called Activity. That one contains four columns, Player ID, Device ID, Event Date and Games Played. And this table shows the activity of players of some game. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, might be zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Our task is to write an SQL query that reports the fraction of players that logged in again on the day after the day they first logged in, around it to two decimal places. In other words, you need to count the number of players that logged in for at least two consecutive days starting from the first login date, then divide that number by the total number of players. The result should just be one value in a column called fraction, rounded to two decimal places as mentioned. And in this example, we only have player ID 1 that logs in on the second day after logging in on the first day. For player ID 2, we only have one value or one row. And for player ID 3, the second login is not the day after the first login, but it's like two years later. So that doesn't count. So this one has to do with retention, so to say. Interesting problem might come up in the real world, especially for gaming companies, mobile game companies. So let's start coding up a solution. So for this solution we're actually going to use left join which comes up in interviews all the time and is something everyone should know. So listen up. Since we're looking at login information we mainly want to look at player ID and event date and then see if there is a second login date after the first login date because that is what the question asks and that also brings us back to that question of getting the first login date for each player. So let's select player ID and then also the minimum event date which should give us the first login date per user. Let's call that event date and we're selecting from activity and need to group by player ID to get the first login date per player. So if we run that code we already solve a subset of the question, just getting the first login date. And now we need to check whether there is a second login on the following day. So we're going to try to self-join on that condition and see how many matches we get. And then we're going to count up those matches and use that to construct that ratio. And we're going to do this by self-joining. And let's make this the first part of the self join. Let's first select everything from that self join. Let me structure that a bit. So, that is our first part of the self join, what we just wrote. We're just going to pack that into a subquery, call that A, and then join activity B on our primary keys player ID. So a dot player ID should be b dot player ID, and then for event date, a dot event date should be the first login date, and b dot event date should be the second login date. So if we add one to the first login date it should be the second one so we're going to say a dot event date plus one should be b dot event date if we add one day to our first login date that should be the second login date yeah and that would hold for rows one and two so we should get a match here so let's just see what that gives us okay as an output we just get one row because we just have one match of row one and two and we get, since we're selecting all, we're getting player ID event date from A and then all the columns from B, which is the original activity table. But only if that condition holds, having the same player ID and the event date being one apart. So we, hear, we get here the date 1st of March 2016 and then 2nd of March 2016, which is one day apart. Perfect. And yeah. So that would be the case where that holds and we're able to make that join. We also want to see where we can't make that join, where there's no 
following day for the first login date. So we're going to change this simple join or this inner join to a left join and that way we're going to keep all elements in the first table A, and that's subquery, and when there's no match when you're trying to join it's just going to show null. And that is the case here, so we see our first row, same output as we just had, but then we have a second row which has null for the values in B, and that is also the case for the third row which also has null for the values in B. Alright, so now if we count up how many times we were able to make a match and how many times we weren't able to make a match, then we should be able to calculate that ratio in the end. So in order to do that, we're going to count up the distinct player IDs of A. So that should give us all players, since we're left joining, we're going to keep everything in the left table. Uh, so these should be all players, should come out to 3, since we have 3 different player IDs, 1, 2 and 3. And then we also want to get the number of matches we got. So uh, yeah, let's break here and say we want to count distinct beetle player IDs. And if that value is null, it's not going to count to our count. <laughs> and if it isn't, it's going to count, and we're going to count up just this one match we got here. That's the only value that's not null. So if we divide that, that should be the lower value because we only have one match. Uh, so that value should be 1, and then we have the value of 3, all players and that should give us our ratio. So let's see what this gives us and we might need to do some more changes. So this is going to give you a value of 0 0.3333. 3, 3. Um, so we need to round that to two decimals by using the round function. Simple. Just use round, our calculation, and then after the comment we're going to specify how many decimals we want set that to 2 and then we also need to rename that to fraction. Alright, so if you run that code now, we get an accepted output and if we submit that, we hopefully also get an accepted solution, which is the case. Perfect, and that's pretty much it for this question. It's great to have an example where you, where you have to use left join and where you can use it to calculate this ratio and you might be able to calculate similar ratios of fractions when there's a similar question because I feel like that is something you might stumble upon more often especially if you're looking at retention. Anyways that's been it for this question I also went through the other gameplay analysis questions 1, 2 and 3 on this channel and I'm going through all LeetCode database problems in their entirety so make sure you stick around and leave a subscription if you're interested and otherwise I'll see you on the next video. Bye!